I'm going to show you how to solve ratio strength calculation questions and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Damkwa and if this is your first time here and you would like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and more, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So this tutorial is part of a series on ratio strength calculations, so be sure to check the other videos out, I'll put links in the description and the card should be showing pretty shortly. But let's get right to it and start by tackling this question. The question says, calculate the amount of drug in grams required to prepare 120 milliliters of a 1 is to 40 antiseptic solution. And now the first thing we want to do is recall the definition of ratio strength. So our ratio strength here is 1 is to 40. This is a solution. So it actually means you have 1 gram in 40 milliliters. And what we want to figure out is how many grams will be required to prepare 120 milliliters. So we can go ahead and solve for our unknown, which is X. So X is equal to 1 gram times 120 milliliters divided by 40 milliliters and x is going to be equal to 3 grams. Let's take a look at another example. This question says how many liters of a 1 is 2000 solution can be prepared from 25 grams of drug substance? So the first thing we want to do is identify the ratio strength. In this question it is 1 is 2000 and if you recall from the definition 1 is 2000 actually means you have 1 gram of drug in a thousand milliliters of solution. So we now need to set up a proportion and what we want to do is we want to prepare some quantity of solution from the 25 grams. So in this instance the 25 grams goes in the numerator and we need to figure out how many milliliters that will give us. So we can go ahead and solve for x. x is going to be equal to 25 grams times 1000 milliliters divided by 1 gram. The grams cancel out and you're going to end up with 25,000 milliliters. But we don't stop here because the question says how many liters. And so the next thing we want to do is do a quick conversion. So we can say that a thousand milliliters is available in one liter. The milliliters cancels out, the thousand cancels out and now you have 25 liters. So let's take a look at another question. This question says how many milliliters of liquefied phenol should be used in compounding the following prescription? So we have a prescription with liquefied phenol 1 is to 40 and then we're making a total preparation of 140 milliliters. So the first thing we want to do is start off with the ratio strength which is 1 is to 40 and that would actually mean that you have 1 milliliter of liquid phenol in 40 milliliters of preparation. We would want to figure out how many milliliters we would need for the total preparation which would be 140 milliliters and so we can solve for x. So x is going to be equal to 1 milliliter times 140 milliliters divided by 40 milliliters one set of milliliters cancels out and that's going to be equal to 3.5 milliliters so i hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any questions put them in the comments and i will address them as soon as i see them and also if you want to learn more pharmaceutical calculations tips and tricks be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching enjoy your life and i will see you next time